Right, that is a fantastic start to this video, night. Do you know why? So here we are, guys, right? We're at Pondstickle Reservoir. They've blocked off the bottom, so you've got to come round this little de uh, detour. And I was just telling Nigel that I've been coming to this area now for 37 years, and I know it like the back of my hand. And then as soon as we get up there, there he is, look. He's asking the woman which way to get to, to the reservoir. And uh, she's trying to give us a detour of like a two mile walk round the outside. And if you look, we just walk five yards through the brambles and here we are now, where exactly I wanted to be. And another thing Nigel said yesterday, I tell the watch on, every walk we go on, I change the plans and we always turn you into my walk, but tomorrow I'm following you. <laughs> I'm following him all day today. You follow me I'm today, not going to say another word, John. Right, that was our, that was our little slope look for you. I'll see what it's like after you've gone down there. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> God, no offence, she was a lovely woman, but mate, we'll be walking on Penavan. <laughs> Two minutes it was, and then you come down there. You told he was fit as hell. She did say something about if you go up that way, it's a mountain, isn't it? Yeah. With spectacular views. Oh, God. <laughs> Here we go. Here we go. Oh, right. You can stay on your feet on this one. Oh, oh God. It's never straightforward, now, is it? It's an easy walk, Nigel. Yeah, it's an easy walk tomorrow. You said. You said you was going to stop scaring me doing happy aim as well. I know you funny, but it's steep. I tell you what, I got no flipping grip on these shoes at all. Oh my god. There we go. We were just by there. And here we are now. So, that was the. What a fantastic recovery! <laughs> oh well, <wow. laughs> I wasn't filming that. <laughs> you was that winning up so quick. I'm glad you weren't. So yeah, we're at Pondstickle. Um, I think the nice. I've been coming here since. Pro 84, no, 75, 85, about 89 have been coming here since, so a good 30 odd years, and uh, I've never seen this so low. Obviously, I've seen it low a few times, but never this low. Look at it. Wow. Something polluted in there as well, look. That's not good, is it, right? Something in here polluting this water. It's like it's a, I don't know, broken bottle of oil or something, or the weather has been dumped or. What are you doing now? <laughs> <laughs> oh God! Duh. That's not something you want to be drinking, Nige. So first pick of the day, we've come down right to the water's edge, and uh, the good thing about this is giving the uh, the tower there some real light because. Normally the water is a good 20 foot deeper and the tower just looks like a bit of a stump but uh, the reason why, another reason why we've come right down by the water edge is because the closer we come towards the tower the uh, you get the reflection of the tower right down but um, well I'm hoping 
yeah, I think you can just see the bottom, the, the, the full reflection. And uh, the the water's quite calm at the moment, so it's giving us a nice reflection. But uh, if you look where you now, it's going to be something like that. But let's have a look what we got here. This is what I'm doing at the moment. So I'm in portrait mode and then I'm doing a bracket in the shot. So one over. Can't see with a reflection, can you? Yeah. One over, one under. I'm on F11 and obviously the tower is the main subject. So I'm focusing just sort of focusing on the tower. I haven't got a polarizer on or nothing, but uh, I think I'll try that now. But I'm, I'm thinking without the polarizer, it's helping with the reflection. But we'll have a look. And uh, I'm taking three shots there. And I, I'm going to do a pan away. I'm like, let's look over here on the bloody 10 second timer from when I had the. Uh, 100 to 400 lens on the other day. So let's change uh, two seconds. So, first shot. It's there, and then the second shot, I'm going to bring these lines here over to the tip of the tower. You see there, and then I'm just gonna take another first the shots, and then I will merge them together. Then a bit of a panel, so I got everything in from you right the way over to you. But uh, I don't know what the hell is in this water, but something green seems to be seeping out of it, which can't be good. You're losing the reflection now with the ripples, is it night? Have you got a polarizer on? Is it? it yeah, that's that's what I was thinking. But uh, yeah, Nigel's got a polarizer and it's not really helping with the reflection because it's, it's cutting through the, the water, but. Uh, God, I don't know where the hell this water's the colour this is coming from. Okay. So that's going to be my one and only shot from here. Uh, it was just basically show Nigel here because he hadn't been to Ponstickle before, so I wanted him to have a little look. And now we're going to head up to uh, a few waterfalls further up in the valley there so we've just stopped off on the other reservoir i'm not sure if this is actually called uh pondstickle reservoir as well but it's the one that actually feeds into pondstickle and uh obviously it's not feeding nothing and that's probably why pondstickle is actually so low but uh now he's here now he just took a few photos Nigel, what was he doing here well i put the 100 or 400 on and looking over the, the Beacon Mountain range over there, I think that's Penavan on the right hand side. And I've just been taking um, a series of panels which I hope to stitch together and get one reasonable photo out of it. Yeah. That's the plan anyway. Nice, a beautiful location isn't it? Stunning. As I was listening to Nigel John, there's, a, there's an image of one of the boys I've got and it's all this covered in snow. The lake is nice and calm so it's like a mirror and got a reflection, obviously all the trees change colour in the autumn and stuff and uh, that's one of my favourite images but uh, me and Nigel are going to come back and get that one Monday night definitely in the snow going to ski is uh, sorted <laughs> yeah. do you reckon you stay on your feet? Oh, easy I think so <laughs> first thing John so our next stop is Blender Glen the South uh, been here a few times in the past and uh, some lovely little trail and some lovely little falls.
boat levels low, so I don't know where there's going to be much water on these falls, but we'll find out now. So literally from the car park, there's a couple of falls just up the top there, which is nice when you've had a, quite a, a bit of a downpour, but obviously we haven't had much rain lately. And then the next cascade of falls, literally two minutes from the car park. And then we're gonna keep following the trail down, following the, the waterfalls, and then follow them back up and do a loop back round. So there's the first little cascade and it's literally a minute's walk from the car park it's then. Still looks nice now, quite thought, uh, you know, yeah. pretty isn't it? So we've literally stopped at the first little cascade. Can't really call it a waterfall. What do you call that? An edge cascade or a waterfall? Yeah. yeah. It normally is, but uh, yeah, we've stopped here and taken our first image. I've got the uh, Lee polarizer and I've put in a nine stop grad. Uh, and it's just literally giving me half a second. I'm on. F16, you obviously you can get a bit more of a longer shutter speed on F16, and I'm focusing a quarter away into the image. And uh, I was bracketing, I don't think I've bracketed yeah, it. Just taking a shot there, let's uh, have a look here. Well, oh, not too bad, it's not a showstopper, but. Uh, it's a nice little image and uh, the good thing about when it's not uh, really bellowing down with the water is that everything around it, all the ferns and the bracken and stuff don't move so much so on like a half a second shot you still get that nice little bit of movement and cloudiness of the water but the stuff around it isn't too badly out of focus So I'll take a few years, portrait the landscape, and then we will just move on down. There's Nigel over there, he's taking a photo. Uh, if Nigel sends me over a few photos for this one, I'll we'll check a few of Nigel's photos in as well. I was going to say that for the last one, Nigel. Yeah. So we've just come from here, and literally walked across here, and made it down to the next little cascade, which is here. And, uh, and they capture these little flowers and the ferns here in the foreground and then the waterfall in the background. As you can see these ferns are moving quite a bit so I just took a photo on F5 I think so I had a faster shutter speed so obviously I have this nice and sharp and then I've uh, gone back up to F16 focused up a little bit higher here and then I've got uh, an eighth of a second, so um, I'm going to focus that then and hopefully that will look okay but uh, looking through the camera looks nice but whether it's going to do it justice on the big screen I don't know Are we looking nice? I like that You can see it's going to stop there, it's just uh, clicking away you know Nice another little pretty one we've just come from there and we're literally still only 30 yards 50 yards from the car park you know so one of the easy ones nice ones what's Nigel got going on with you then F16 yeah F15 and I have bracketed in so I'm going to see what I'm going to get I'm trying to get the shadows on, on the lights in yeah yeah But uh, I don't know if these images will look any good blowing up now, Joe Big. But you know, just looking at these, it looks really nice yeah. to look to the eye, doesn't it? Oh, it's just nice to be out and uh, see it all, isn't it? Mm. Obviously, Nigel's first time here, and I think he's very impressed. Oh, nice. But the amount of walking you haven't had to do. 
<laughs> 20,000 steps today, you said, is it? Yeah, what are we on so far? 3,700. Oh, wow. We're not even five minutes in. Oh, that's nice. Oh, I like that. Where's Get yeah. that stone that's leading you yeah. across that right. hole. Probably get something out of it, I suppose. I think I need to take a faster shot to speed than that, though. And you'll have a go that, Nigel. You have a go that one. So I just jumped in behind Nigel and uh, just running through this image now. So obviously you've got this little leading line of this rock here, which got some lovely colours on top of it. Uh, obviously for the little cascade waterfall. And then what I like as well, just on the other side of the fall there, catching the light and lighting up the rock in there, which is really nice. I'm on F10 and i high ISO 100 and I'm just getting half a second and i got the uh, Lee polarizer on the front and I'm bracketing the shots there. Something like that. There. Yeah. That's Cascade number little, number four, and we're gonna head on down the trail. Okay, night. So this is waterfall or Cascade, whatever you want to call it, number five, and it's literally just another twenty meters down the walk. Uh, I've done this one before on a really, really, well, after we'd had quite a lot of rain and uh, it looked nothing like that. And I remember people saying, where's that to? Because it was overflowing all the way down there. But uh, it's a lovely little cascade, isn't it? Boss number five. We're moving on down. There's Nigel just at the top there. Just checking in and... Uh, Doing some more refined photos. Doing some fine art, you know? Some fine art, is it? Fine art. <laughs> so that's where I was just now, where Nigel is. And I've just come down to see if this has been cleared. It's a really, really big fall, yeah? Oh, really big. Good 30 foot fall, but uh, look at all this. And it's been like this for flipping oh, four years now that I remember. You think the Forestry Commission and whoever it was would have cleared it by now, but uh, when I was a kid and I'd done the uh, gorge walk from up the top all the way down this river with uh, the school and dollar guy, yeah, we, we abseiled down this river, made our way all the way down to the bottom. But uh, it's a shame that. All that's there because I just know if you go down there, this would look stunning. See, look how pretty that one is. And it's quite a big one as well. It's such a shame they haven't cleared all this. You know, I was like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and best part of the 20 trees down there. Which, you know, if you come down here, two of you, with a saw, you can see that easy. And I'll tell you what, it's a really, really nice fall out of all the mocks and all that around it. Nice little horseshoe shape. That's uh, something I want to do out of Get this to the It's been like a few years. So we've been by here now a good 15, 20 minutes. Nigel's taking far more time than me so you should have better shots but that is the lovely thing about taking photos when you're with another photographer you can take your time planning you know if we was here now with our delightful wives it'd be on the back of your mind oh are they bored now am i taking too much time by you do you I mean yeah of course but um when you're out with someone else it's just like you go into your zone and it doesn't matter, does it? You know, no worry. I know. I know. <laughs> yeah. And I'm glad you see that because I've been eating food without them. <laughs> yeah, that um, other little fall is just there and the slam cleared it. Eh? Is that so, the last one? No. 
There's more again, isn't there? This isn't, this isn't even the start of it. Yeah. <laughs> That's good. Come away then. So we're still less than, oh, less than half a mile down this uh, little track and we're at Cascade or stopping at Cascade Waterfall number 7 or possibly 6 but we've missed one or two because it's down in the gorge which is quite deep but uh, you know what, I haven't photographed this one before, all them ones up there but um, Nigel's given me at the park number 2 so far today. Nearly went off the edge, don't worry Kai's alright. <laughs> oh god. Yeah, she's gonna stop. She stopped off at the number seven. I'm hoping there's a big fall down there as well. I'm hoping that's being cleared because I was full of trees for a few years. And I might make my way up a little bit further up here now. So you can see uh, a few more in the background. So this was the next shot I was taking, uh, pointless me talking you through every shot other than showing you what composition I'm using but uh, I've just come across these little rocks here, uh, you know somebody's placed them everywhere but uh, using that as a bit of foreground interest for that little cascade behind it but uh, yeah like I said there's no point talking through every shot because it's pretty much ISO 100, F16 so we can get as long a shutter speed as possible but not as long as possible but in this harsh condition, about a second or two, and uh, that's pretty much it for every kind of waterfall. But uh, that's it. That's number seven. Nigel's just walking on down over there, and we're gonna head down to number eight. Take your time, Nigel. I'm good for that. Sitting down. That's it. Location number eight. And still only half a mile down the uh, trail. Let's use another image. I was just there where the rocks are at the top there. And I've just come back down and then I'm just looking at this image and what I like about it is giving you that little bit of a S curve. Even you up through the, uh, the shot. But, uh, yeah, it's another pretty limit, little image of this. So moving on down to the next one, uh, like I said, the next one is a bit of a big one, but it used to be um, covered in trees and stuff, but I'm open, it's cleared now. Yeah, but there's quite a few big ones down by here now, or bigger ones. The last time, well not the last time, but me and my mate was here, I think it was the first time I come. You're doing photos, and uh, there was a tree like them ones up there, one for the middle. And uh, I said, I'm making it. <laughs> I was filming him, and he pulled the tree out there without falling. But uh, I thought I was gonna have 200 pounds. Am I filming? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, I'm, 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 I'm telling you, and our two viewers that were <laughs> my, my story. <laughs> so it's the next little one, a little bit muddy, but. From what I can remember, this is quite a big fall, but... Oh, it's easy, Nigel! It's worth it! <laughs> Honestly! Yeah! It's one of the bigger ones! Oh, that's better, because all this used to be way overgrown and... Uh, Loads of bloody logs and all that here before. So we are at the base of this hole, and uh, as I said before, these feel like uh, trees. Well, the trees are flying down, but they're kind of settled now, so they're not moving about so much. 
But, um, yeah, I'm just spinning around to show you what I'm doing here. Whoop. There we are. I'm in portrait mode. I'm in quite tight. I'm on 28 mil. I'm shooting with a 16 to 35, and uh, I literally just got this rock in here. Nice bit of light hitting the water on the side up there, and then obviously the waterfall. And I'm in as tight as I can. F16, ISO 100, and it's giving me half a second, which is more than enough for this little fall. Yeah, yeah, nice. Like the, uh, I like it in the water there. That's waterfall number nine on this little trail so far. Nigel's just setting up and uh, he's going to be coming up now. So we are at waterfall number 10 or 11, but um, there is actually more than this year, but uh, we've stopped off at this one, which is what I was 10. And uh, funny enough, as I was on about Dollar Guy earlier on in this vlog, we were just talking to uh, a lady who was working for a kind of national trust of this area. And she was saying back in the 80s, she used to work for Dollar Guy. And I said, oh, do you remember a guy called Canadian Mike? And she said, yeah. And uh, she said he ended up going back to Canada. Had a good old chat about him and a good old chat about the olden days. But uh, that's actually made my day. Huh? That's absolutely fantastic. But yeah, this is the last fall, or might be another one behind me, of this first trail that we've come down. Now this joins on to another river. And then there's a couple of more waterfalls up that way. So we're going to do them and then walk back up on the trail looking back around. So this is waterfall, cascade, whatever you want to call it. 12, I think. We just done one down by there, but it was really blown out with the highlights, but uh, we used to come here when we was a kid, and believe it or not, you can jump off that tree there, under that water, you'd be surprised how deep it is there, but uh, yeah, nice to come back here, and look at it through a different eye, you can see how quick it goes deep there, but just shooting in the air, got a really even with the polarizer on, got quite a bad glare of the water there. But um, if you look just up behind the fall, there's a nice little wooden bridge there as well that uh, I might take a few photos of before I go up into the, the last waterfall at the top. It's quite busy here with TikTok as an Instagrammers, but um, that's what you've got to put up with these days. Other than that, the trail that we did was uh, quiet, wasn't it? The first trail we'd done coming down, we only seen in a half a dozen people, didn't we? But um, down on the bottom, it's a busy trail, but further on down now, we, there's, uh, there's a few more. But um, time is getting on. We've been on what, half past four now, night. Ten o'clock we met at Ponstickle. So we've been going for a good six and a half hours, but um, just taking our time and enjoying the day, really. This is Nigel's first time introducing Nigel, but uh, we're going to plan to come back autumn time now as well. So a couple of shots here, and then we're going to head up to the last big one. And you're laughing to myself, and Nigel's like, "What are you laughing at?" And he's looking at. Engaging in, edging forward more and more, and I tell you now, that goes when the river's up over your head. So 
If he does manage to go, he's going to be uh, <laughs> up to his shoulders. Uh, and I did say I will rescue him, but not until I finish filming him first. <laughs> oh god. Look at this. I know. Yeah, yeah. 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 Well, is it good then? Get the foam in there, go away. He only has a little stumble when he's right behind me then, doesn't he? <laughs> yeah. Thought he's going to fall onto me. And then he pulls his tripod out and he's pissing all over me, man. I say it one night, the tripod's pissing all over me. So we're moving up to the next location, which is the last waterfall on this trail. Um, just took a few photos of the bridge just down below her. But this is the last one now, it's got a big end. Been here loads of times over the years. The first time we came here was with Dollar Guy, you know, we was gorge walking and we all had our waterproof and wet suits on and uh, we were all sliding down this. It's all really slidey. But, um, Nigel, here's this thing here, Nigel. By here. Well, here we are by here now. I'll just give you a little tour of this new gear head I've got. It's a uh, Ben Raw gearhead, obviously just as running the pan, left and right, up and down, left to right, and obviously these buttons here, quick release, and then once you release them back you can just spin it quickly. But uh, I had a, a manual kind of gearhead before this, and uh, the ball heads, but Look how easy it is, for instance, to get it level now, so there's a thing. Just little fine adjustments, boom, straight on. And if you look, the main man, he's got the same thing, eh? So you've been using this to yeah. your head for two years, year and a half, two years, two years, year and a half. I've always admired it. I've and never been good. Not for this sort of stuff anyway. No. But yeah, it's so easy now, isn't it? Oh, excellent. You got the up and down. You <laughs> got left to right, and obviously the pan and round. But it's also if you got a level in there, yeah, like this. Yeah, how easy is there on there? Once our tripod's level, lovely for doing panels. Yeah, and I've done one earlier on of the pen of hand, but uh, yeah. What what model are these things, Nigel? If somebody wanted to get one. There you go. So that's the new addition to the family, and i got to be honest, I'm absolutely loving it, along with tripod that I bought a few months ago which is the Benro Advanced and for the size of it uh, it's carbon can big whatever Nigel references really like considering but last couple of shots and then we're gonna head back up the, th the trail what's your thoughts on these ones Nigel? We're taking a the light isn't so bad, you know, is it? It's not so harsh. What do you think of the walk on the trail? Superb. Nice Superb. and easy, isn't it? Well, nice and I feel coffee on the way back now. The downhill was easy anyway, wasn't it? Oh, I feel back now, isn't it? <laughs> yeah. You can get a bus back up, can you? Uh, I'm, in, I'm interviewing you now, mind. Are you? <laughs> <laughs> well, you've got to ask me and John. Yeah, what do you think of the colours on the rocks there, Nigel? It's in, isn't it? It is up here. Yeah. Yeah. I've seen them kay kayaking off there, Nigel. Like. Oh. I see him kayaking off there. Yeah? No, I don't know. <laughs> no, so um, 
unless we do anything on the trail uh, that is going to be it for this one a couple of photographs coming up now and uh, we will catch you on the next one Nige on the next one for that guys well, one last word guys on the uh, upper Blaine the Gwyn waterfall walk if you like this video and you want to do the walk uh, it's uh, just looking at the sign below there now and it's saying it's one mile or one and a half hours and that, strenuous yeah strenuous as well so obviously downhill on the way and obviously uphill on the way back but uh, if you wanted to do it and just have a little quick look at the waterfalls and take a little snapshot here and there and a little selfie for your TikTok and Instagram two hours would be more than enough time it's well, taken me and you seven hours well if fat age can do it anybody can do it isn't it no we're not fat age so yeah we we done it well we took us the best part five hours I'd say yeah because we yeah because we've down pound stickle for, for a bit on our own so yeah but you'll give yourself two hours and it's a nice little walk uh well, give yourself the day and enjoy bring, it bring the dog bring your poo bags i've seen a lot of change been through a lot of pain some things are not the same as they were a year ago but all will be okay I move on each and every day The past is where it stays Way back a year ago I've changed for the better this time I thought I would never be fine I strive just to say I'm alright and for the first time in a long time, I'm alright I've seen a lot of change, been through a lot of pain Some things are not the same, as they were a year ago But all will be okay, I move on each and every day The past is where it stays, way back a year ago a year ago